This college football week 15 picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. My Bookie is doing everything they can to help DGENs only cash big. Use the promo code SGP for a 50% deposit bonus. That's MyBookie.ag, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Thrive Fantasy. Thrive Fantasy is a new daily fantasy sports app built specifically for player props. Download the app in the App Store and use promo code SGP for an instant deposit match up to fifty dollars. That's ThriveFantasy.com promo code SGP. Sign up and prop up today. We're also brought to you by Better Than Vegas. Better Than Vegas is the home for avid sports bettors, providing insights, analysis, and free betting picks from cappers and betters, including the crew from SGPN. Better Than Vegas, it's like YouTube for sports betting. Check out all their free videos at Better Than Dot Vegas. That's better than dot Vegas. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in pay per head providers, and they make it super easy to start your own sports book. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. Ooh, welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer Dog? No, oh, just, you know, another Monday double header. Another no, Monday no double deal. header. My uh, lock of the bills, which um, congratulations! You, you didn't want to be a part of Ryan, but I strong armed you into it. And, I appreciate uh, that. Yeah, sometimes we got to look out for each other. It is a team. Uh, it, it happened today. Let's bring the guest on, but it did happen today. Little teaser. I got a story. Uh, and uh, joining us as always to talk college football, Colby Dant, aka the Dant to base. What's happening, Colby? Greg Williams for life. <laughs> Greg Williams for life. Look. Oh wait, you like him now that he got fired? Well, look, I don't have a problem losing that game as long as you're trying to injure the quarterback. All right, oh. I'm all about it. All right, bringing the heat on the hail mary. <laughs> that really, someone had a tweet about Greg Williams basically dying doing what he loved, and that was bringing an all out pressure at the end of the game on a hail mary. I don't mind the call. We we kind of hit on it on the recap podcast. I like the idea of not letting him sit back, but. You don't need to play bump and run with the cornerbacks and and getting burned. And well, maybe I mean, just bring you, six guys. You're already eliminated. You might as well just have fun with it, though. It's like yeah. Tecmo Super Bowl. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna sit there and have fun with the fucking final plays. You yeah. Know, even if I know, like, I'm I, look. It's already out of the realm. You're not H- going to the playoffs. Here's my thing. If you're one of these fucking main lamestream media punks hosting some sports show on NFL Network or wow, ESPN. Right. Or one of these other four letter networks, Sean. We are a four letter network. I, I dare you <laughs> to pause for a second and say, would I say this to Greg Williams' face? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people are Monday morning quarterbacking a defensive coordinator who, while he is a he's batshit crazy, we've seen yes. it documented hard knocks, he's had success. Hey, he's a legend. He's had success. He's and, one of the he's one of the think, good guys. And I think most of us would say if we watched our team sit and prevent rushing three and can, letting a team convert a hail mary, what would we say? You got to put pressure on the quarterback. So, like Sean said, they did make a slight tactical error there. <laughs> but for Adam Gase to fire him, like that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we we didn't get our one win to the season. Well, you're it's fired. It's actually giving. It's like doing you a, a solid because they got Kept burned. You it's like you're gonna get Listen. the first pick if you win this and somehow win another game. There's a chance you get the second pick. I, I just <laughs> I see these fucking nerdy motherfuckers trying to make make like a scheme comment. About what? Uh, look, I'm not. I, I didn't come on this show tonight to defend fucking Greg Williams. I did. I but, love that guy. But, <laughs> hope he gets a job in the XFL as a head coach. Oh man, yes. <laughs> but Greg Just Williams, run and punt block every play. <laughs> Greg Williams is like a uh, you know physically active, still could kick your ass, Gary for Busey. Sure, for <laughs> and so I I don't know if it's wise. Like he's crazy, <laughs> and you're gonna come on TV after the man's been fired and talk, rub his nose in it. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. All I, right. I stand with you, Greg Williams. Hell yeah. Me get too. It, get get nowhere near my all rise culture. I do it. I hope we fire Gays and hire Williams. There you go. <laughs> unlikely, unlikely move by the Jets, but you never know. I'm playing the cash register because breaking news, we all hit our three team teases. Catching. Kramer and I hit our uh hit our locks. Uh Colby hit his bonus lock and uh, looking at these records, man, we're on a, uh, we are really heating up. 
I think we're doing better on college, John, than, than pro this year. Probably, yeah, seriously. I'm well, hitting, I'm well, hitting. I do, you guys, that six pack. So, I mean, yeah, you know, you are, you're setting us up. There's no talk of. I'm not doing well on the six pack. There's at all. no talk of the six pack being eliminated. I'm 40, 27, and 11 in the six pack somehow. Uh, fit, I'm at 57%, Kramer 54, Colby 56. I'm uh, dominating lock percentage 73%. You guys, uh, Kramer fifty eight, Colby sixty two, right. Kramer sixty four percent bonus lock, and Colby a whopping eighty two percent on the bonus lock. So, yep. I think we laid out a good formula. And coming in hot on the teases, Colby also sixty two percent on the three team teases. Well, what I was gonna, what I was teasing about what happened today. Not, I wasn't gonna give you the sob story about how I teased the Steelers and got yes. got my. I, uh, I alerted you to the tease, and I go, this tease is suspicious. And yet I still did it. No, you, yeah, you, you told me you did it. And then I said, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? And then I proceeded to do a round Robin with Baltimore and Buffalo. You showed so. me your, my bookie screenshot. And I was like, wow, Kramer really <laughs> went a little overboard. Well, his heart's in it because he thinks the giants are going to go in and the Redskins Hashtag are going to right, steal right. that spot. He's, I, he's I, drunk with joy off that five and seven <laughs> team. He's he's not using his head. Hey, I, went three I, called, I called him last night because I had some technical issues, like normal, right? And the first thing he says, "How about those Giants, bro?" <laughs> All rise. And of so, course, your technical issues. You mean overloading the server with your two and uh, forty minute, two hour and forty hey, minute podcast. Look, about I had done football. so much of these fifteen minute ones; they were yeah. offending me. So I said, look, we're going to just fucking go all out on this uh, one. I, I, is there, is there a, uh, is there a term for tantric podcast? Because I think <laughs> you and Colby, you're like sting of talking about small college football programs. Once yeah, you lock in, I, I you're, mean, just, you're just making love for hours. Take, straight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take the belt off the uh, pants, throw it on the neck and just listen to Colby spit hot, hot, hot poetic college football picks, Sean. So, uh, what I was gonna say, what happened today is I got the oh, oh, there's more, there's more football. Yes. Oh, and you're at, oh, and there's a podcast after too. <laughs> yes. When, when, wife, is the, when does this end this year? <laughs> my wife tweeted out how somehow COVID has created more football. I'm like, quiet, honey. We got a Monday night double header. And then I just responded. I'm like, she doesn't even know about Tuesday night, <laughs> Thursday night, Maction. We Ball. got. National football games going on every day of the week. Of course, college football heating up, and, and this is the great. We're in week fifteen of college football. College football, it's great. It's never ending. They're gonna be playing games once the spring ball heats up. It's never ending. We're not going anywhere. Well, the kids can't play in December, Sean. Okay. Yeah, they realize <laughs> they realize that exams, midterms, they're all bullshit. <laughs> you know what's not bullshit though? MyBookie.ag. That's where you go if you're digins only. That's where you go to place these bets. <laughs> Live in game wagering, parlays, props. They really up their game with the player props. Tons of action over at mybookie.ag. And of course, get in over there. Use that promo code SGP. Get that sweet deposit bonus up to 50%. Play, win, and get paid over at mybookie.ag. And just a reminder, we're uh stay subscribed to the YouTube channel because we've been popping on live more and more often. And we're going to allow one of the viewers watching live over at youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast at the end of the uh, podcast to throw out a pick, uh, a game you'd like for us to break down and uh, yeah, do the whole spread. Give our, uh, give our picks. Greg Kalish checking in on the YouTube chat room. Legend. Thank, thank God two games tonight was able to listen to all the college experience. So there you go. Interesting. See? Second screen experience with uh, Colby <laughs> and Patty C. Sean, we're also live on Twitch. Oh wow! Shout out to the the uh, the fellow sim gods out there. Fellow sim gods and uh, another uh, quick uh, user comment here. Chu Velarde saying, "How do I get over my depression as a Steelers fan?" Well, you're eleven and one, so it could be a lot worse. You could be three eight and one and wanting to put a, a gun in your head for the holidays and. <laughs> You're listening to the College Football Picks podcast. We've been red hot, so you know what gets over depression. You know what cures depression? It's not Zoloft. It's not talking about your feelings. It's not mental health exercises. Yeah. It's winning cold, hard, cash. Three, eight, and one hurts, Sean. It, it does hurt. Yeah. 
I mean, Ryan, I, I know you just became numb to the pain of your team sucking for decades on it's end. Called but, it's called indifference. But uh, but I, I want to update on what, how we feel about the Jalen Hurts status here, buddy. Had, I thought he looked pretty solid. Well, yeah, three no, and one, a three eight and one hurts. Colby, yes, it hurts exactly. But well, he looked. You changing? You changing your ways a little bit? Oh yes, uh, he I, is. I, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What? Yeah, I'll, when Jalen Hurts is in on the e- playing quarterback for the Eagles, uh. I'm going to root for him. I'm going to try and convince myself he can win a couple games. Do I think he is the long term answer? No. Am I really uh, startled what, by what, how what low? What makes you think he can't be the long term answer? Uh, he doesn't strike me as a guy. Uh, I mean, he doesn't look. When he's out there on the field, he still seems to be a little bit too small. Now maybe they can, but I thought the same about Kyler Murray. And I Kyler Murray's say, been playing uh, pretty you, good. You thought Here's the same about yourself when, when you were playing. Yes, he, he, and I got my ass kicked, and I'm not on the field anymore. That's looks, a great example. He, Sean's concerned because he looks nothing like a real franchise quarterback, Carson Wentz. Oh, oh, uh, no. And uh, his, let's talk about Kyler. His Wonderlick score was uh, insanely low. Well, All I'm right. doing a reevalu- <laughs> I'm reevaluating Carson Wentz's K metric score as we speak. <laughs> Let's crack open a cold one. Josh Allen just spiking that K metric square really in your is. face, right? Well, the playoffs are still coming. Don't worry. Let's talk college football. Pittsburgh, six and a half point road favorite at Georgia Tech. Colby, kick things off. This is a uh, what are we talking? December tenth. That is a what day of the week is that? Thursday? Thursday night. <laughs> it <laughs> all runs together. Yeah, I it know. All runs together. Dude, yeah. In these COVID times, it's tough to keep track of the dates. Um, what are we thinking here? No, oh, you got to be on Pitt. Georgia Tech. Look, we we faded them against NC State. Pitt has got ever since I've gotten Kenny Pickett back, with the exception of that Clemson game, they've looked really good. They're just the better team, and especially when you add in Pitt's defense against Jeff Sims, it's a no-brainer. Georgia Tech's garbage right now. Yeah, five and two with Kenny Pickett, and yeah. they, they they were both close close games. And yeah, I just look. I, I think the take you could have the takeaway that like Georgia Tech looked feisty against NC State. They really fumbled a lot on, of chances. NC State was on the backup quarterback. You know what I mean? NC like, State like, also fumbled a lot of chances. So in a way, like had I lost that, that I would have been coming in here hot, telling you how my lock got uh got, got completely stolen from me because <laughs> NC State had no business even coming close to not covering that game. A- and when I saw the six pack this week, Sean, I got to be honest, I went, "Oh, Colby heard us." Oh. And I like the level of consistency he's bringing here. These are clear Colby bet on and bet against team. So mm. I appreciate that. <laughs> We're betting against Georgia Tech, which of course everyone knows is the much bigger pussy tech school in the ACC. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, Ryan, it sounds like you're a Virginia Tech fan there. And I, I no, no, I no. That, you this, isn't, yeah. your... this isn't about me being a fan of Virginia Tech. This is just me calling out and letting people know that Georgia Tech uh, people are pussies. There you Except go. for Calvin Johnson, he's cool. Yeah, Megatron is uh, representing cool. yeah, Georgia Tech. Awesome. I, I'm a little worried about Pittsburgh being two and five against their spread against the spread in their last seven. And normally, I like taking Thursday night home dogs in college football. But I think it, you know, without a crowd in that dome, without that crowd noise, really maybe rattling the Pittsburgh offense a little bit, slowing them down. You know, with the hard count or not being able to hear their count, et cetera, et cetera. I, I just don't think uh, Georgia Tech really has a chance. So the fact that you're getting this under seven, I'm I'm rolling with you guys. Let's go. I'm gonna guarantee there's gonna be a pick six in this game. Ooh, uh, yeah. I, I was gonna. Well, the concerning if you're if you're gonna take Pittsburgh, it's Narduzzi that you're concerned about and his ability to cover a Narduzzi. big spread. But if this is one of those games, the defensive line maybe covers it for us. Yeah, you know, and what I mean? second they have a good secondary. Like too. They'll score. Yeah. Defense will score in this one. Nevada heads to San Jose State? Question mark. Uh, well, do we know where this game is being played? Look, last week we had this on there, and then it ended up getting switched to Hawaii. They can't play in this county, so I don't know why they still are having this as San Jose State. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, are, is San Jose State trying to fight this? I, that's the only thing I can probably. make sense of. There. They've been probably trying <laughs> to file waivers. Uh, you know the crazy part about all of this. So Nevada is seven and one, right? Six yeah. and one. Six, Six and one. one yeah. Sorry, San Jose State and Boise are both undefeated. Yeah, Bo- no, Boise is undefeated in the Mountain West. They lost yes, to BYU. Sorry, yeah, undefeated in the Mountain West. Nevada can beat San Jose State and put themselves into a three-way tie with Boise State if Boise State loses. But to there's Wyoming. two divisions though. They're going to play. It, 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 yeah, but that three-way tie would cause Nevada to lose out. 
on oh, playing wow. for the Mountain West Championship. Well, it's not going to matter anyway because San Jose State's going to win, even if it's in Reno. Perhaps that's the angle playing the X Files. Physical music. football team, bro. That was it. Dude, that line went down to two and a half. By the way, when it Where switched do you to think the Hawaii, game is going to be? I think it's going to be in Reno. All right. Are you a little? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm a little bit worried. The fact that in the last ten, Nevada has really owned San Jose State nine and one straight up. Well, I mean, that's last a, ten against San Jose State. But San Jose State's been like the worst football program ever. That's why Brent Brennan should be a nominee for Coach of the Year because this team, he t- it's, he I, has turned the program. Dude, around. I saw it last year. I went five and seven. They just missed out on a bowl this year. He gets Nick Starkle to transfer in, and they and they look great, man. They're like a physical team too, like. Uh, Nevada's air raid. We like air raid. We like Matt, Matt yeah. mummy, how mummy's son, the OC, but I just think San Jose, San Jose is state team. is going to fuck with them. Well, and the line opened at three and a half and it moved to two and a half. I think that's probably based off the fact that this is going to be played on a neutral field. I'm with you. Let's take San Jose, the state, the Spartans laying two and a half at home against Nevada, Miami of Ohio laying 23 and a half against Bowling green. Which I mistakenly threw into my bonus locks. <laughs> I told you, Akron. Just I told put the you when we on recorded. Him. I said, well, "Dude, their Bowling Green's got Brian Van Gorder. He's the worst defensive coordinator in America." They, you also like, told me the week before not to put Penn State in my bonus locks. It's true. And so I was in my own it's head. True. Normally, I listen to the Dantabases' advice, but it was a bonus lock situation, which I've been ice cold. I would just auto fade my bonus locks, people, please, for the love of God. Miami of Ohio lay in 23 and a half. This is uh this is Maction, but it's Sunday, 9 a.m. Uh I, I'm I'm kicking this off. Bowling green, fuck you guys. Give me, oh, give me, I love it. Give me Tell Miami. Me you're taking, oh no, damn give it. Me Miami you're taking of Ohio. Bowling green. No, come on. Third. Yeah. Even laying 23 and a half. So talk yourself into it, right? Transitive property would suggest that if Akron is one of the worst teams in the country. And they just go in and whooped it. I mean, they, thirty-one to three. Imagine being that bad and being able to beat a team thirty-one to three. The, now, here's the concerning part: It's a bounce back spot for the program after being <laughs> embarrassed. They are at home. They're catching a lot of points, but again, I, I don't know. Like the level of incompetence. I watched Akron play, and while they're better than UMass, it's not. I, I don't even know about that. It's not that distinguishable. So for. I don't know. I know nothing about but why bowling. Maybe there was something going on. Maybe some people were sick. No, no, no. That's that. This is what's hilarious is bowling greens. Only good performance this year was when all the coaches had COVID. Oh, so, <laughs> so perhaps it's a, it's an issue with the coaches. So no, yeah. Brian van Gorder, who uh, Paul Johnson in his high school offense, I think rushed for almost 800 yards against when he was at Louisville. Um, he is the worst defensive coordinator in, in, in college football, right? And he sounds like he it. was out with COVID for a game, and they play their hearts out. And uh, there, it wasn't only him; it was a few other coaches. It's like so. the Matt Patricia list uh, lines over there, three and fifteen. Bowling Green is straight up uh, in their last eighteen home games, and they they can't make the number big enough. Bowling Green one and seven against the spread in their last eight. So, yeah, we just got to uh, we got to t- uh, everyone on Miami oh, of Ohio. It's gonna be like f- this game is gonna be like fifty two to seven. Kramer, you on board? Uh, yeah, I mean, I watched the Bowling Green team play last, and and <laughs> quick anecdote: I played rugby there while I was in college, and got. So, I, I would say Bowling Green is like the Morgantown of Ohio. Mm. That's what I'm going to say. Filled with like that right, just enough trash <laughs> to allow for the good time to be maximized. <laughs> Roethlisberger tackled some there. You know where I'm maximizing my good times over at ThriveFantasy.com. When I use that promo code SGP. Had a pretty good uh, Thrive Fantasy lineup. Went a little off with some of the couple of the props. Still six and four on the props, but again, Thrive Fantasy so fun to play. They give you twenty uh, player props. You pick your ten favorites over under. Very easy to play. Very easy to cash big. And if you use that promo code SGP, you get an instant deposit match up to fifty dollars. ThriveFantasy.com promo code SGP and little bonus offer. If you sign up in the next couple of weeks, send us your screenshot. Email it in podcast at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Gonna do a drawing here in a couple of weeks for a hundred dollars of SGP merch to support Thrive Fantasy and just to rock some sweet SGP merch. So just to be clear, a screenshot of them signing up. Yes. Okay. Occasionally people just send in a screenshot of them. <laughs> or a selfie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I appreciate appreciate the photo. But again, 
you know, DJs only. We're not lookers. We're gamblers. Thrivefantasy.com no. promo code SGP. No dick pics, right? No. You can send those to Ryan. I don't care. <laughs> UNC <laughs> heads to Miami of Florida. Uh where Florida's laying three and a half. I want a dick rubbed on me tonight. Now you Miami Florida? Florida. Yeah. Miami, Florida. I do like how we're breaking down Miami and Miami and back to back games. You diabolical, like Kobe. Di- <laughs> diabolical. Dude, I thought Green was gonna fuck that up. I, I did that on he, purpose. He did. He Trying did. to trick me. Can't. I'm on top of my game. It's lined open at four. It's down to three and a half in Miami. Saturday, midday kick here. UNC coming to town. Is there an uglier stadium in the world than that fucking Miami Gardens stadium? or whatever? Yeah. It's so gross. <laughs> The roof is like a big square. It looks like a big ping pong. What's table. crazy is the old, the orange bowl actually looked cool as fuck from the outside. Uh, who had a problem with yeah. the orange bowl? Yeah, I don't I mean, know. We still have the Rose Bowl out here, even yeah. though that sucks. Well, I mean, there's a golf course there at least, yeah. you know. Right? Yeah, I go jogging there. <laughs> I like the Rose Bowl. No, Miami, I like the Rose Bowl. It's just the stadium. It's just like, don't you know. run out of vodka when I go see when I go see Jay Z. All right, <laughs> how does that happen? Did someone lose their job. All right, because they ran out of. That's I'm talking. They make it wasn't just too. you know one rapper's vodka brand. They ran out of all the vodka within before he even went on, bro. Anyway, continue, continue. <laughs> I'm sorry, Colby. That sounds horrible. <laughs> so Miami hosting the game here, tar- UNC seven and three, but only four and six against the spread. It feels like a lot of. I'm looking at the 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 spread action here. The spread consensus over at Odds Shark. Good pals over there. Fifty-eight percent of the people are on UNC plus three, but now now the spread's a little higher. It's at three and a half. Have you even seen some fours earlier on? Interesting ACC matchup. Miami six and three against the spread. Their last nine. UNC they've been playing well, getting the wins, not getting the covers. Colby, what are you doing here? You don't even need the spread. North Carolina's the better team. Ooh. <clears throat> One of the things people just don't know. Look, and, I, and Miami should be ranked ahead of Indiana. That's a fucking joke. But I will say Miami. Uh, I think six of their wins or five of their wins are against backup quarterbacks. So they've been very fortunate to not play starting quarterbacks. Well, guess what? Sam Howell, last time I checked, he's playing unless the COVID happens. But uh, Sam Howell's elite. He's going to pass all over this defense. Give me the Tar Heels on the money line. Yeah, I mean, this is an obvious spot. Miami getting overvalued. That if, as as Colby pointed out, they've done they've not done well against some some now we know bad teams like my Hokies. And last thing I'll say, granted the program, it, maybe it's turning, but this is a team that does not close two and eleven ATS mm. in December uh, over their last thirteen. So uh, yeah, obviously I'm not picking. The private school pussies here. We're gonna go with the public school tobacco road. Give me uh is it Sam Howell? Sam Howell, Sean. Another good nugget here. The money split down or the tickets are split down the middle, 50 50, but 82% of the money on the Tar Heels. Ooh. Yes. Um now what's uh what's uh Derek King? He was he he contracted COVID nineteen, but that was during their shutdown. So he's he's completely fine, right? I yeah. just saw that he announced that he well, we'll find out two hours before <laughs> game time. Yeah. They do seem to be a little late with that. The spread indicates he's playing. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm going to go against you guys. I'm going to take King at home, laying the three and a half against UNC UNC just trouble covering spreads in general this season. So Not I, this spread. I, I think uh, it <laughs> yeah. feels like the public squares all over, uh, all over UNC. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking Miami here. Give me my, give me the hurricanes. <laughs> Uh, At home, laying three and a half. Tighten that collar up over there, pussy. <laughs> Texas, lay it. Ryan, you call me one more a pussy one more time. I'm flipping this table over. <laughs> Texas Sorry. lays. Can't hear you all the way down there in last place. It la- okay. <laughs> you want to talk about my NFL lock uh, record? First place, one out of two. Texas laying thirty at Kansas. Kansas coming off a program defining cover. They only lost by three points against Texas Tech, and I was on that. I told you, you not to do that. Is I this, told you not to do that. Does this spread reflect the new Kansas program that's taking shape, or is this the time where we have to just keep auto fading Kansas? Kramer, you're the Kansas specialist. Uh, Les Mile, he's not been relieved of his duties, right? No, no. Okay, Texas Tech turned the ball over how many times? Four, five, five, yeah. maybe. <laughs> that, that 
they got. We're getting a <laughs> gift here. I know Texas doesn't need this game. No, they do need it. Tom Herman is oh, coaching right. for his life right now. He just that's scored right. sixty nine no. points on K State. Oh, that's a good point. It doesn't matter though. But my handicap was going to be even though they don't need it, Les Miles just covered. And uh, last I checked, that was the first time he had covered all year, and he doesn't cover at a rate of set <laughs> eight out of nine, which is. 88.88 <laughs> repeating percent. This is, these, there's some pretty funny numbers here on the. Uh, I'm going to lean into that trend. J- Kansas 0 and 9, 1 7 and 1 against the spread, coming mm. off their only cover of the season. Sean. The Odd Shark Supercomputers predicting a uh, team total of 1.6 for <laughs> Kansas. <laughs> I don't know how the computer predicts that. I think, uh, I, probably such an outlier. It broke the model. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I, I mean, come on, Texas minus thirty, and this is oh, it's good. It's, this is a lock, man. Get this while you can, because it, it it was already at twenty eight and a half. Could <laughs> could, cr- could cross the key number thirty one, which I always feel like comes into play with these Kansas games. Well, I wasn't even mad that I lost last week because my my nine year old told me, "Are we still?" Basically, was like, "We're still betting against Kansas because they suck, right?" Dude, uh, this game is hilarious. I mean, last Why? week was hilarious, and this game's hilarious because Tom Herman. It's like the Clay Helton thing. Mm. They want a reason to fire him. Urban Meyer just turned down Texas apparently, and he scored sixty nine, which was like the most they've ever scored on K State since like nineteen thirty or something. So, so you're saying he's trying to get his job, and the players well, like him? It, they need a coach that wants that heat. That's actually people think it's a great job. It's also a job that comes with ridiculous standards. You know what I mean? So. Uh, I don't know what coach would you bite. got, and you got Matthew McConaughey doing all your pregame speeches, <laughs> playing I mean, his bongos really things, loud. Things could be worse. That I would mean, be a great. I have wish, unlimited money. I wish we could have a camera or just get the audio of one of Matthew McConaughey's pregame speeches of trying to rally, rally Texas, get them going before <laughs> a big game. Which, by the way, I, I with with. Uh, with COVID, I, I'm surprised we haven't done it yet, but we got to do it. We have to do a, a we have to do a group watch of two for the money <laughs> with, oh, with the great Matthew McConaughey <laughs> starring as Brandon Lang, Al Pacino. Come All on, he does is pick winners. All right, App State laying eight and a half in states Borough, Georgia versus Georgia Southern. I think we were all on App State last week. That Dude, was a wild we got, game. We got fucked. <laughs> How about that coaching decision to just run out of the end zone? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, like four minutes left or whatever. It, it was. It like, was a five point game, <laughs> and I know you don't have a long snapper, but hey, it was fourth and two. Just go for it. Go they for it. They can't kick field goals. They've missed a bunch of field goals. Yeah, go for it, and then they still have to score a touchdown, <laughs> or it's fourth and two. <laughs> Like I, I, I mean, there's a decent chance you pick up a fourth and two, or you do the QB po- pooch punt. You have just <laughs> snap it to your quarterback and punt it. You know he was a he was a a. They were saying he was a top candidate for that South Carolina job. South Carolina settled on Shane Beamer's Frank Frank's son. I think that was the deciding factor. They watched that that, that when they watched that game. They're like, but can this guy not do fucking math? Right? <laughs> Let's get him out of here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, it's it's the cl- it's it's like the uh, someone got a little bit of analytics but didn't really know what it was. <laughs> it was like, oh, we got, oh, I, I've seen this before. We we take a safety. That's what we do. We take the safety because then we can run some clock. Maybe off. if there's like ten seconds left in the yeah. game, yeah. So like with two minutes, it's like what? You want to cut it to a one score? You want to cut it to a three point game and give them the ball? They had to score a touchdown. Now they only have to score a field goal. I, it, it made you're no telling sense. me there's no one. On that team and kick a football. Oh man, dude! No, no, it was it was about the long snap. No, I, I know, yeah. but you're telling me just the regular for it. snapper. Your quarterback for, do one yes. of those like sweeps where he Rand- punts it. Randall Cunningham yeah. punted the ball 91 yards. I, now he was a legend, <laughs> but I mean, even Ryan, whose kicking abilities are so bad, he's afraid to put them on tape. <laughs> I think you could oh, punt it 20, fire. 30 yards. And by the way, thank <laughs> you for just brushing that under the rug. The fact that Virginia Tech could have made everything right with the world. Mm. And and brought back uh, Shane Beamer, who I'm sure doesn't want to coach at Virginia Tech because he doesn't want to be in the shadow of his dad. But I mean, to go to a does school, he hire our boy? Yeah, Bud Foster. You think he brings him in as DC? No, maybe. You know, you know what's funny is um, uh, if you remember when 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 uh, Clowney was being recruited and uh, the running back, who was the running back out of South Carolina? That was a complete stud. Never maybe Mar- 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 Marcus Latimer, Marcus Latimer. Yeah. He was a beast. He got well, a bad injury. Do you know who helped to recruit those players? Shane Beamer, because Shane left, went to go coach under Spurrier, I believe at yeah, the time. Yeah. 
And so th- this this made a lot of sense because he has he has the ties to the program. But anyway, coming back to the App State game. Oh, dude, this is a this has actually been a huge rivalry since they were in the FCS. I, I am I crazy, Colby? Am I jumping the gun here? But I love Georgia Southern. They play really well at home, catching a ton of points. App State clearly has special teams issues. This <laughs> I mean, this feels a little high here. I right? mean, App State was twelve and one or thirteen and one last year. Their one loss being to Georgia Southern. This is a yeah. true rivalry game. It feels like super Bowl. points, and it's in Statesboro. Give me Georgia Southern, the Eagles, might I add, yeah, uh, to I, to get this done. Yeah, and I, I mean Georgia Southern, uh, they're fa- having a decent season. Famously, let me get let me down against Coastal Carolina earlier in the season. My bad. <laughs> App State is an inflated brand name. They're they're not a good team. <laughs> I, no, they're strangely a brand name. And, well, and, it's it's a yeah. it's a you know small school that teams have actually heard of because they beat Michigan that one time. Yeah, they beat a lot of power fives, but and, and they're a good team, but one and five in their last six. And that's the opposite three of three coaches in three years has an effect, man. Will Mormon throw shots fired saying Georgia Southern about to get blown out of the frame. You you can hear him uh I like he it. does a lot of the uh, college Dude, football periscope. I was about to say he does the college football periscope Saturday mornings. He's also a great college basketball handicapper. Wow. Okay. So I got to get him all on a college experience one of these times. Yeah, I mean, he, I'm just impressed. He showed you how to have a guest on a periscope. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what happened there. Right? <laughs> he just slid in. Yeah. My phone started ringing and I just answered it. And the next thing I know, we were live. <laughs> Doing it live. Ooh, new sponsor time. And. Uh, yeah, speaking of videos, they get a ton. Better than dot Vegas. That's right. All new, completely free website. Thousands of handicapping videos. It's it's pretty sweet uh site they got going. Basically like YouTube, but but just dedicated to sports gambling, people uploading free picks. Uh we we have a, a channel going. We're gonna get some guys from our SGPN crew uploading over there. They're gonna be posting at better than dot Vegas. If you want to check it out, you can just go to better than dot Vegas, of course, or um, go to our website, pull down that watch menu and hit the better than Vegas link hitting all the sports, NFL, college football, college basketball. I know Kramer and I will be throwing out a couple picks on our page over on better than dot Vegas. And again, free picks, free videos. If that's not enough, they're giving away $2,000, 1000 to the handicapper that wins the most units. It's like a month long mm. contest. You can get all the details on the website and another thousand dollars to the handicapper that has the most followers. So if your picks suck, you can still uh, get a thousand dollars, getting people to check you out and follow you on better than dot Vegas. Check it out. Tons of videos, tons of fun, better than dot Vegas. Sorry, Sean. What uh, did you say? So, so we just, we make a video of our units and post it on their <laughs> website. Is that exactly? No? Okay. Long Cox. <laughs> Love the unit jokes every time. <laughs> Utah heads to Boulder, Colorado. Beautiful Boulder, Colorado. Friday night kickoff. Colorado laying one and a half. But Colby, what is going on? I saw our buddy, a uh, friend of the program, Cash Juno, trying to get you all riled up about Pac 12 shenanigans involving this Colorado program. Well, yeah, it's a lot of bullshit. You know what I mean? And uh, well, explain, explain what's going, going on. Going undefeated okay. and not getting to play for the championship. Yeah. Well, Colorado. Hasn't had COVID issues at all. Yeah. yeah. Arizona State had like 80% of their games canceled because of COVID. So they were supposed to play at Colorado. That game got canceled. The following week, we, we go to play at USC. They canceled. They didn't even have that many players out and they canceled because they Cowards. knew they're higher, they're higher ranked. So they would, the rules state the higher ranked team would play if they're both undefeated. Yeah. Colorado on the fly then schedules our gal, San Diego State, beats them. And then last week we go to Arizona, take care of business. Carl Durrell. This is a guy who got hired like a week before COVID. Yeah. Didn't even get to choose his coaches because he was supposed to spend that month hiring his coaches and COVID hit. He's this a is good a great coach. He took our free safety from last year, made him a quarterback. He's a good coach. This is fantastic, man. But it's a crock of shit that the Pac 12 isn't pulling like what the Big 12 and ACC did and said, hey, let's take the top two teams. Or not Big 12, I'm sorry, Big 10. Which I don't think is a fact yet, but I think it's going to happen. According to like, according to a lot of uh, people that cover that conference, is that they're going to pair the top, uh, Ohio State if this game gets canceled against Michigan, they won't qualify for their 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 championship game, right? Yep. So they're going to then take back that rule on the fly, and then allow Ohio of State to play. Are. But but the ACC already did that, like little bitches, by the way, because. <laughs> 
because Notre Dame might have lost the way that Notre Dame played to, against Syracuse. This Wake Forest team is decent. They have a good offense. They canceled that game and just said, "No, our judgment is that Clemson and Notre Dame are the best two teams in the ACC." Miami, and if Miami would have won, Miami would then have the tiebreaker, and Miami would have played Clemson again. It, although we saw that before, Look, I, I think it's not the worst thing to do in the in the case of the ACC. Like while you can get hot and bothered, they're clearly the best two teams. With the with the pro- my problem with. But my problem is it's it's still something that would have cost them the playoffs. The game's no, on no, the no. fucking my, schedule. My issue, yeah, my issue is that it, at least the ACC schools have ten games under their belt. True. Uh, my my yeah. issue with the Pac-12 and the Big Ten is that they're j- like Ohio they, State they can't them- play for the playoff. They they they're if they have four games, you can't like come on. Yeah. They put themselves in this dumb position where they started the season so late. They didn't give themselves any wiggle room on the schedule. Like what, what's going to be happening in, in between now and the college football and, playoffs but, Add games. And candidly, if they roll into a game against Alabama, only having played four games, they're going to get their fucking shit pushed in. But to defend and, the pac 12 though, they, even if I know their politics were retarded on this, but I'm saying like, th- even if they, the whole state was on fire, like every state was on fire, Colorado and Oregon, no, no. And LA and Northern California, they wouldn't have been able to play even on a normal season. That That's fine. Yeah. My thing is just extend the season, settle it on the field. Like, here's my thing though. Like they, I, I I'm with you, Colby. I want to see a bigger playoff. None of the PAC 12 teams deserve to be in the college football play. Dude, if Colorado goes undefeated, I would love to see it too. They're going to they deserve just as much as Ohio state but, does, but there are teams that have played a full season. If USC goes undefeated. Yeah, that's true. Look, but I'm saying compared to, and I think those schools are like coastal Carolina, Cincinnati, like of course, pick of course. one of those teams over these, I'm these, a, I, I would, these, I would like co-sign reward, that. reward the ability for to be a coastal Carolina team and navigate. COVID. But, but if I'm the athletic director of Colorado, USC or Ohio state, and I don't get in, or, or if well, I'm a fucking Buffalo's head, uh, director, we won the national championship. That, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I would are say they, that until they make a large playoff. Own are that. they, are they going to be like UCF? And if they go five and zero and beat Utah this weekend, do they hang a banner? I mean, if, if they should, if college, they should, if it was also, me, but also what are you doing? December 18th play mean, one of these other pac 12 teams, the Colorado. Yeah, they have to, they, I mean, again, they're, 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 they're the pac 12 championship this year. Is a line that the the north plays the south, but then the second team in the south plays the second team in the north. Yeah, the third place team, oh, okay. and so on and so I on. I have so no problem if if you like I, I whether I agree or disagree with the way that the Big Twelve or the Pac twelve hand, or Big Ten or the Pac twelve handled the situation. At the end of the day, a season's a season, and if you didn't play enough games, like okay, it's 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 okay. This is a weird year anyway. There's going to be asterisks next to, next to everything. You just can't let those teams in, though. You have to reward the conferences that said, "You know what? We'll get the games in." But the problem is they're not going to. Bottom do that. line. My problem is the hypocrisy of letting Ohio State in, but not a USC or a Colorado if they do, or a Coastal Carolina, Buffalo. I saw or, or someone. Like Twenty I, fucking. I teams, saw yeah. someone tweet out like the the age old argument of we don't we don't need to see another blowout by letting Coastal Carolina. Oh, play and out. then they showed they all show the blowouts. I put that up on our, on our fucking Instagram. Saw Maybe I'm following yeah. us at Sports Gambling <laughs> Podcast, but it, it, it's true. Like, why why do we? I, I understand it's money, it's money, it's money. But the other angle here is this is already a fucked up year. Like Sean said, what are we doing in two weeks from now? We're gonna start having shitty bowl games. Well, yeah. How, how great was that Coastal Carolina BYU thing? It's it awesome. happened on the fly. It was the best yes. game of the week. So what if? Riddle me this. These clearly we can schedule games on yeah. short notice and play them. Safely. UCLA randomly played on a Sunday. It doesn't matter. Just so, fucking play the games. Yeah. We have a lot of vagueness around who should be in and who shouldn't. What a year. What to if we pilot just... a new feeder system into the playoff? What if we Couldn't said, be Hey, done, Ryan. Couldn't hey, be done. Yeah. Hey, guess they, what? They can't, they have finals in December. dude. I'll, I'll make a new criteria. If for whatever reason you are undefeated, you get a ticket into this tournament. Holy shit! I've been saying that forever. <laughs> and, and and then Ohio State. Okay, you're on. You played. You, you canceled a bunch of your game like bitches. But you get to come. You get to come play. Yeah. You get to come play. But you know what? Alabama. They get a buy. Notre Dame. They get a buy. Yeah. Like they get rewarded for actually I'm navigating all on a season. board, dude. And I even think of you have one loss. Like because people were somehow, coming at me for the BYU thing. They lost by one yard. And they had 24 hours to prepare for a triple option, a shot, like an RPO tri- option offense. Look, Do you realize how hard that is? 
Do you realize how hard? Like I do, and I, I I think we just figured something out here, because I, I do I, I come back to this right. Like I, I it's the same argument I have with Sean. Now the NFL finally got what they wanted, and the, and the Steelers oh, lost. God, right. And the Do- but <laughs> but you can't reward a team for gaming a system and backing out of playing games. Okay, that is you're you're making a crazy false <laughs> equivalency. The Raiders had a legit outbreak where they had guys test positive no, no, no. day after day. I'm, after I'm just day. pointing out that uh, they like didn't, the they, Steelers, the Ravens troopers. didn't decide to cancel the game. They were trying to play the game, but they kept testing positive because they had an outbreak. Roger to get out. We're, we're here to talk about and co- explained it in, in, you know, even we are here to talk about college football. Yes. <laughs> and all, all I'm saying is that I think the fact that you and I, with our own eyes, Colby, I'll talk to you since Sean doesn't. We're we're, de- we're we're spinning off into college experience territory. Well, right yes, now. but it's important because get, we got two more hours, guys. Let's do I this. watched my the, the team that I no longer uh, root for, the Virginia Tech Hokies, play for like three weeks in a row with no one. Like th- literally, we that we had the moment. K State, K State was playing so, with like thirty so, guys out all year. So <laughs> while again, whether I agree or disagree, like. It's just the way it is. So uh, fuck you, Ohio State. Fuck you, USC. Fuck you, even Colorado. Wisconsin. No, Colorado didn't didn't sit anybody. We've never had a COVID issue. I like Colorado. You can't play in a playoff with five wins. Okay. It's not. They, they would have Colorado. Played, they would have played points. seven games. Utah finally gets a win. <laughs> now they got to get back, take to the road. They're not able to move the ball. Very Colorado's well. a good program. I'm, I'm actually taking Utah. You are. Yeah, I don't want to jinx my boys. Oh wow. You know what I mean, Colby. What? Yeah. Doesn't even believe. That's how serious this he is with the Buffalo. Digging so hard. <laughs> a twenty minute, so hard. Twenty minute tirade about how Colorado deserves to be in the playoffs. I'll take Utah plus well, one. We can still win by one. <laughs> Cole, Motherfucker. This is why. This is the kind of stuff that makes me upset. This is the same thing that made me choose to defend Tom Brady in that nonsensical oh, argument. Oh, you, with you. Yeah, yeah, that's still. You're so wrong. It's just. Amazing. I almost want to switch my pick to Utah. Let's go. Move on, Sean. All right, moving on. Oklahoma heads to Morgantown, West Virginia. Oklahoma laying 13 and a half in Morgantown. Always a tricky road spot. But again, fans, most likely not in the stands. Who knows? It's West Virginia. Not will, sure what's will going on. Will couches be burnt? Yeah, yes. couches. You're allowed to burn a couch if you maintain a six foot distance from anyone <laughs> inhaling the couch flames. You're allowed to light a burning couch on fire if you're wearing a mask while you're doing it. Mountaineers, you know, they're always a, they're always, I feel like a feisty home dog. Uh, how good is this Oklahoma team? They've had moments where they've looked pretty good. They looked pretty shitty or, or at least relatively compared to expectations early on Colby. What are you doing? You lay in the big chalk here with Oklahoma. No, I, t- I took Oklahoma last week and that offense didn't look so great against Baylor. Even their touchdown that got them really separation was should have been intercepted. Um, give me a uh, West Virginia. We stupidly played this angle when West Virginia was on the wrong road, and it wasn't the right time to do no. it against Iowa State. This is the situation: the Big Twelve, weird road trip, early kick, sleepy start in Morgantown, Oklahoma. Nothing to play for. Nothing to play for. Uh, well, don't say they're they're playing for a spot in the playoffs. Well, the, what and, do you mean West, they put them in there every fucking year? <laughs> and West Virginia coming off that blowout loss at Iowa State. This is kind of uh this feels like I wouldn't call it maybe Super Bowl, but what does West Virginia have to lose? They're at home. I I think they they don't strike me as a team, especially after just getting their ass kicked, now they're back home. Don't they just lay it all on the line? Like they're it's they're not a about decent that. enough team. We make lots of money every year taking spots in Morgantown. This is one of them. And shout out to Brad Martin over at YouTube reminding me. That there is also the whore angle in Morgantown. <laughs> the whores the, of Radford. It's easy to They've get gotten in. tested. They're, they're ready for Shane access. Beamer, man. I know it's virtual, but they're they're gonna show up. They're on now ca- the the cam girls of Radford. <laughs> no, they no. can't come directly to your room. No, no, that's the uh, that's the uh, like ten cent a minute girl. Like you want a, a slight upgrade to a quarter, you go to the Morgantown <laughs> line. Oh yeah, and if you want to know, um, now that you can't actually go to strip clubs in Las Vegas, apparently there are workarounds. According to uh, one one SGPN Slack user, so feel free to hop in there if you want to download on that. Uh, West Virginia, I'm I'm taking the big number. Colby, are you? Sorry, what did you say? Are you on pile, West I'm on West Virginia. Can I pile yeah. on? Because also, yeah, got a report from uh, Dick Olson that yes, uh, the Dick Olson was the oh, is that the, the source for yours too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so D- D- Dick says everything's operational. 
<laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> USC, UCLA, always a uh, fun rivalry game. This will be played at the Rose Bowl. 4:30 afternoon kick. USC lane three and a half against UCLA. It's UCLA team, uh, you know, not horrible. They turned the corner, bro. But maybe they have. Maybe they finally they're drinking chip. They're drinking those chip shakes. Finally, a little pep in their step. I don't know. I I keep wanting to fade USC, and then they don't end up playing the game. Uh, UCLA plus three and a half. Who is the, who have they lost to all year? Colorado only lost since then. No, three, Oregon. I'm but sorry, that, but that game was Oregon. that game was so three and one straight lucky. up four yeah. and zero oh against the spread. This is a team that's been undervalued every week this yeah, year. Yeah, lost by three points. Well, Oregon. And, and, and when's well, the last and time they played with like 14 players out with COVID, including their starting quarterback against and, Oregon? And they when's the last time they were a home dog against USC? 2008. Chip Kelly. They defeated USC. Mm, mm. Mm. 2008. Last, 2018. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Last year, <laughs> they got their ass beat by USC. Yeah, revenge. Uh, and Clay Helton is somehow not on the hottest seat right now. So you know what that means? Time for him to lay a fucking egg. How Pac-12 would it be when when Utah beats Colorado and uh, they'll broke and they, UCLA they, beats U, U, USC? Right. They're both going. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think UCLA is a live dog, and and I would be happy to take them on the. Money it line. is, but I I do I do still uh, I do ha- I'm somewhat traumatized by Chip Kelly because there it. was well there was that year was it last year or the year before where it just I was stuck on auto fade on UCLA yeah. and it was so great. But you're right. UCLA does seem like they've turned the corner. They're buying in figuratively, literally. But M- money line to me, this, this is yeah. this is more just a fade about USC. It, this, they just seem super fraudulent this year. Cincinnati, Cincinnati. Well, was Cincinnati were they supposed to play BYU and, and Cincinnati backed out, or was it the other way around? No, well, no, no. It was uh, Liberty was supposed to play. What do you mean? L- Liberty was supposed to play Coastal Carolina. Oh, okay. I thought no. Didn't uh wasn't Cincinnati trying to schedule BYU or vice versa? No, Washington was trying to schedule BYU and BYU uh, it, they backed out, but it was I would have backed out too. It was a horrible deal for BYU. All right. Anyway, Tulsa catching 12 points. Home dog in Tulsa, Cincinnati, the Bearcats feisty this year, laying 12 as the road chalk here. Colby, you you are we continuing to ride Cincinnati? Or are you, you taking Tulsa here as a home dog? I'm taking Tulsa as a home dog. There's something magical about this team. They get these bullshit calls against East Carolina. They get a hail mary with their third string quarterback. Uh, so give me the 12 points. I mean, I, they could win money line. I mean, it wouldn't shock me. I don't think. I do think Cincinnati is just a flat out better team. But 12 yeah. points. Tulsa's defense is good. They'll be able to. They'll be able to limit. Why uh, so Cincinnati offense? My, I, I was gonna. I, I have a couple notes written down, but the general question for me is: Why is this so big? Is it because is, is they this, play again next week? Well, there's, the, but but like, isn't Cincinnati doesn't Cincinnati have the like style points thing? Maybe like, yeah. do they have a shot if they, they blow do, out Tulsa twice? I mean, I refuse to believe that, but I mean. Um. Apparently, you they refuse say the bleaks. You don't want to be disappointed. I, I know the playoff. They've shown <laughs> their colors over the years. They will not put a but group it, of five team in. They're but if fucking Cincy, hacks. if since if a team's going to get in, it could be a team like Cincy. I'm I'm actually on Cincy here. I, I think they're in fu mode. They're they're trying. This is a statement opportunity for them, and I, and I think their defense travels. Especially in December, I I like I like the team. narrative. I just I'm with Colby. I can't like I don't. There's no way you can you can say Tulsa's going to get 12 points and, and it's not going to. Well, and it's weird because they play again next week. So well, who does that? I guess that's that would be the angle. If since he rolls them up, like what's the value there? Tulsa can still steal the. the but conference. if Tulsa wins this game, they play in Tulsa. If they lose, they play in Cincy. So they are playing for the home game. Look again, Tulsa at home, a lot of points. Cincinnati's been fucking good, but. Tulsa's defense has been rock solid this year. I agree. Yeah. So you're you're on Tulsa as well, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The Cincinnati team, they're good. I want to create chaos. I want Colby to be upset. And I'll Cincinnati, be happy if since he wins. No, but you'll oh, be upset, upset that they, they don't, don't get, get in. Yeah. yeah. So I that that's kind of the scenario I'm rooting for. So yeah, the, the def. Who are the four right now? Right now it is what Ohio State is in. Ohio State's number four. The Ohio State, let Ohio State in over bullshit, a undefeated co- Sun Belt school that plays on a teal field. <laughs> They've beaten one team with a winning record. One team. 
by seven at home. But they they scored a lot of points. They Whatever. don't have a chance to do that this week. Beat a team with a winning record because they're playing <laughs> Michigan. So all year they're gonna play one team with a winning record. <laughs> Ohio State laying twenty eight points at home against Michigan. I'm going chalk here. Uh, Michigan is just so so bad. They've completely given up on Harbaugh. You you could nor in normal years I would say this is Super Bowl they, whatever they get up for this game they keep it close but Michigan is just so fucking bad and Ohio State needs to win they need to win by a big margin I mean there it feels like I guess I guess they don't need to win necessarily maybe to keep that playoff spot but I think they're gonna want to run up the score and Michigan they just can't cover a game to save their life so I'm all over Ohio State here Colby I'm riding Michigan. Okay. Captain wow. Captain comeback forever, man. All right. This is it. This is his moment. This is his AFC. Time to shine. This is his what? He was like a 14 point dog at Arrowhead. Colin right? Kaepernick's you know? not coming out of that tunnel. <laughs> Are they gonna play this game? <laughs> That's a good question. Ohio State, I mean, they're probably concerned about their playoff chances if they they wouldn't want to lose to Harbaugh. No, that would be horrible. He's got nothing. He's not his th- this is it. Like yeah. his job. Like I say you go job. all out. You go for every fourth down, kick an onside kick every time you score. If they don't, I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm going to take Michigan here because yeah. it, isn't this the like the the kitchen sink game? Yeah, but their their kitchen sink's clogged, and Ohio State. <laughs> I mean, you can throw the kitchen sink at them, but that's I, I'm with Colby. Fuck Ohio State. Yeah, Sean, yeah. you're on the wrong side of a lot. Uh, I of don't. This. I don't like Ohio State. I'm just. I'm mm, just being like honest with you. Twenty eight is a huge number, man. Their yeah, defense gives Michigan, up points. Is historically bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about historically, historically because under Rich Rodriguez, that's I, a bad I really year. like Ohio or uh, Michigan in a uh, one of those fourteen point teasers, getting it up to forty two. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. said the same thing about Denver uh, when the spread was seventeen <laughs> points. Oh, put them in a put them in a fourteen team teaser. No way they don't cover thirty one. <laughs> that, that's true. They only lost by twenty seven. I mean, look at Michigan. Uh, Penn State covered against Michigan. That's all you need to say. They're done. They're cooked. kitchen sink game, baby. <laughs> All right, got a couple games left, and of course, the YouTube pick of the week and our lock dog tease. Before we get to that, want to shout out Ace per head. Think of the starting your own sports book. You should. Now is the time. Instead of just trying to beat the bookie every week, flip the tables and become a bookie. It's just that easy to start booking your own action. All you got to do is go to aceperhead.com slash sgp. Aceperhead.com slash SGP. Get up to six weeks. Their amazing sportsbook software, completely free. Aceperhead.com slash SGP. They set the lines, they grade the wagers, they do all the heavy lifting. Ace is the place. If you're looking to start your own online sportsbook, Aceperhead.com slash SGP. Navy heads to Army. America, baby. America Bowl. In West Point, New York, Army laying six and a half against the midshipmen. Brutal non cover for the midshipmen last week. Score was sitting on 16 to 6. We were getting 11 points. Felt like they were just going to bleed the clock, but no, they have to wow. kick a field goal. Tough, tough non cover there. Are you on so the midshipmen? This mid-shipment? isn't in Philly, huh? No, West Point. Mm. West Point, which makes it a little because they actually, I, I think they can have people there, right? Yeah. I thought I saw people there. That, their last home game or a couple home games ago. Um, this is amazing, right? This is what we, uh, this is college football America. without the bullshit, you know, what I mean? without the, the, without the, the bullshit, the forward pass, yeah, without Colby, the forward pass. Yeah. Colby, yeah, he hasn't liked <laughs> college football saying. since they introduced that yeah, thing. And Condoleezza rice is on a fucking panel. Dude, the shot clock <laughs> you know I mean? like, and the fucking forward pass ruins and Kanye ruins no, the shot clock. I actually think it's a good one. Shot <laughs> okay. clock's a good one. Okay. You know Doesn't I mean? care for the three point line. Although I did try to run, doesn't that. like doesn't like show <laughs> I, I, I tried to run that four corners offense. We were down ninety six. <laughs> say you like right, the four was... corners. <laughs> gonna burn that clock. Um, uh, Army uh, spread open at seven. Now it's down to six and a half. You know, Navy. It feels like they're gonna give them a game, but I feel like every year I end up betting on Navy, and then at some point I'm just yelling at the screen for them yep. to throw the fucking ball because you need to throw it at least a couple times. No, no, Do no, you? no, no, no. You don't. I think so. <laughs> You're so progressive. I know, oh, man. Sean. Are you so you rocking the Navy midshipmen? I mean, Army's pretty solid team. Seven and two, five and four against the spread. Dude, when two triple option teams go up against each other, You're I right. will Army take doesn't the throw points. it much either. I will take the points. Give me the six and a half. Give me Army twenty four, Navy twenty. 
Yeah, give me Navy. Yeah, I think they've been tackling all year now. We can they they shook the rust off and they're a full contact program now. You guys are crazy. This na- this army team's pretty solid. I'm a big fan of Service Academy football. Again, I love the troops. Kramer's still on the fence, but and, and don't forget the best play in football, the fullback dive. Tulsa's a good right? team. They We're just played a, a really good team. So were they looking ahead to this Army Navy game? We, how do we not talk about that in our handicapping of the Navy game? I blame, that was, that I blame was jumping Colby. out at us. I blame Colby. Well, normally it's on the nineteenth, right? I, I know. Blame normally Colby. it is this yeah, weekend. Listen, dude, this year's weird. Normally get, there's get like it a, it's by itself. Navy owned Army for a long time. You know, seven and three the last ten. Revenge time for Army. Give me Army lane six and a half. Wow. Speaking of uh, speaking of uh, rivalry games, Virginia. Heads to Blacksburg, Virginia. Had to put this one on here. I know Virginia you Tech not <laughs> even not even getting the full minus three, only minus two. No home field advantage. Nothing going on for the Hokies. Coming off a disappointing non-win and non-cover, unless you bet Clemson, which of course I did because they were my lock. Kramer, seventeen ten at the half. It was forty-five ten at the end of the game. Yeah, keep great score second half. Uh, that bet. is uh, that's only coaching. And uh, what better way to put a nice big dab of icing on the Justin Fuente can the get the turd fuck Sunday. out of town than losing a second time? You know how many times Frank Beamer lost to UVA past twenty years? Fifteen. Once. Wow. You know how many times Justin Fuente <laughs> is about to lose to, to UVA twice. in the past twenty years? Twice. Virginia Tech should hire Greg Williams, bro. That would be a real. Uh, that'd be oh a real man, that would be a program I changing. I don't know if he's a college coach material. <laughs> oh, he would. He, I think they would enjoy it. Why <laughs> is Virginia Tech favored, Colby? Uh, because it's in Blacksburg, but Head there's no Hooker, fans. He, he whatever whatever happened that caused uh, I'm blanking on his name to transfer their third string quarterback. Something happened in the quarterback uh, room. He went to my Maryland where he's transferring again. What's his name again? No, no. He's just like just now their third string quarterback transfer. Burmeister? No. Burmeister is banged up. Hooker, complete loss of confidence. UVA UVA is solid. You guys made fun of me for picking UVA last week. Meanwhile, they won and covered against Boston College. They've won four in a row now. Oh yeah, I'm riding with Mendenhall, man. Yeah. Give me, shut this. give me UVA yeah. plus two. Five and oh against the spread in their last five. They are Mendenhall's a proven oh, great hot, coach, hot, man. Hot, like hot, 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 gets the most out of his teams. Give me UVA. Quincy Patterson. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, whatever happened, like again, this this fuck of a coach. It's a turnstile. More transfers in the past five years than the previous fifteen. That's ridiculous. That is pretty insane. I'm not I, I you know what I'm Kramer, uh, give us your uh, official uh, pick. Uh, uh well, Sean, I'm gonna Yes, do it. I'm going to bet against Justin Fuente. Oh, wow. thought I'd never oh see the day, God. Thought I'd never see the day. I mean, again, I'm taking the money that I would so generously donate uh, to the, the <laughs> pamphlet school of business over there. And I'm wagering it against Virginia tech. And this will not end <laughs> until they fire that cock sampler. <laughs> Until they fi- they fire that wanna be like this motherfucker wanted to go to Baylor. Imagine wanting to go to Baylor as a coach. Imagine that. Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, he's a cock sampler. It's the only thing that can make sense. He well, enjoys the Ziploc bags of cocks they have in Baylor. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get to the log dog teas in a second, but still time. Throw out uh, what game you want us to break down in the YouTube chat. We'll bring that. Uh, we'll get that going here in just a second, but. Perfecting the game brought it up, and I had this story in my notes. I think Colby sent it to us on the uh, Twitter feed. The, the UNLV quarterback Max Gilliam apologizes for eating sushi off nude model on reality Speaking TV. Of cock episode. sampler. Why would you apologize for that? Yeah, what is there to apologize? I when I when I heard this story, I kept scrolling down. Like, what exactly is apologizing for? I was worried they were going to get him on one of those like. Uh, free benefits because mm-hmm. you know, hey, you get a free meal <laughs> and who and is you pay- don't report it. <laughs> you this is technically <laughs> you pay for that sushi. Bitch. This is technically a violation. Wait, who did he apologize to? His coach? Because if so, I, I was always a, a skeptic about that hire. But are you telling me you don't want your quarterback eating sushi off of models? Come on, that's I think that goes with the territory. Does he have a, Th- is this he married? Is just, this is possibly the funniest <laughs> apology I've heard in a long time. I would like to apologize for my poor judgment while on the TV show Below the Deck. And I acknowledge that I've made a mistake that I will learn from. 
Well, it was not. What, a, what are you going to learn from that? <laughs> what the fuck are you going to learn from that? <laughs> when are you ever going to be on a reality <laughs> show again while you're a college quarterback and being asked to eat sushi off a nude model? Quote, while it was not my idea nor any of my friends' ideas to eat sushi off a model, I should have exercised better judgment and declined the idea immediately when it was brought up by the producers. Where was it off? Was it like in her asshole or something? I'm trying no, to figure it out. Yeah, have you right, ever I, seen those I things? got a picture right here. It's literally like classy. Like there's, yeah. I mean, it looks like a restaurant. It's a, it's it's a, a, a naked <laughs> chick on a table. Probably yeah, there's not, like a banana leaf in between but, there. But it's like, it, it's like presented as nicely as you could present sushi yeah. rolls on a person. Yeah. Uh, you can't it's not, even it's see some, tits or vagina she's a model. They I act mean, like it, you know, it's she's and, a, and there's a, there's what's a chick, going on in our society. What's wrong with this? There's a chick eating it too. So I, I don't know. Like it seems it's even worse. Uh, it's it 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 seems very much Sean like many people agree with you. Uh, well, this, yeah, and you know UNLV football, the Las Vegas area. I mean, th- this does not reflect on the Las <laughs> Vegas that I know of. That they would have anything to do with eating fish or uh, naked women. This is just he said. I would like to humbly move past this and focus on Who, my time and energy. Where, where's, where's this guy from? Can we for do the a university deep, deep dive on this guy? Where, maybe he, he was apologizing for doing a, a show called below deck. I honestly <laughs> thought it was going to be a COVID thing. Like he didn't, he didn't uh, space six feet away <laughs> from her or that, you know, eating sushi off a chick wasn't considered dining out. This wasn't <laughs> alfresco dining. I was worried. I thought, I honestly thought it was going to be something like that. I did not see this. I, apology I mean, coming. dude, can you look at, look how far we've come. You know what I mean? Jim McMahon, you know, damn well, he ate like, he ate like a, a fucking taco out of a uh, girl's asshole. Yeah, it was before. like, a, you know what it I mean? was like, a brat, <laughs> you know, it wasn't, wasn't some fancy shoes. And this is, these are our quarterbacks these days. What the fuck is going on in our world, man? You know what I mean? Uh, he's only got 1800 followers. Maybe we can get him on the program and ask him who he was apologizing <laughs> to. What kind of sushi was it? That's what I want to know. May, may, I mean, so there's two, only two things he could be apologizing for one. He's apologizing to his 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 mother and he's two. Have a he's apologizing right? to his girlfriend. No, she was there. What? Yes. This is the dumbest a, story I've ever heard. In it my was life. a group date. If your girlfriend's not offended, I'm sure your UNLV football players aren't offended. Like who of these? Yeah. Who, the UNLV boosters, <laughs> possibly the most corrupt people in the world. You think they're the same people that like? Uh, I, mean, I mean, could you just imagine telling Newt Rockney like, hey? You know, quarterback's going to apologize from eating. Well, first he wouldn't know what sushi is, but I mean, these classic football figures. This is this is a insert, fucking man's game. What the fuck is happening? Insert Joe Namath joke here, <laughs> dude. Dude ate fucking sushi for years. Well, they, they probably Joe Namath. You know, he probably apologize yeah. for none of it. None apologize of it. for being yeah. a pussy and eating sushi. Yeah. Why don't you just throw a T-bone steak on that girl? Come on, <laughs> call yourself a man. Wait, Susie so- Colbert, get on this boat. I'm gonna eat sushi <laughs> off of you. Just assuming sushi's a metaphor for her pussy. <laughs> Well, and you know, Joe doesn't, Joe doesn't go to like that. You know, <laughs> he's old school. He doesn't go down. <laughs> he doesn't go below deck what regardless, you, of whether or something? regardless of whether there's a salmon roll down there or not. Uh, oh, that's, that's shit's for the <laughs> Joe oh, Namath man. keeps it all above deck. What all are right. You, what are you eating pussy? What are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a, uh, this is a fun game. Will Mormon threw it out. And of course, friend of the program, Mike Leach feels like Maybe turning the corner a little bit for Mississippi State. Started off big with the with the win against uh, LSU. Things got a little out of hand, and um, oh, we're gonna get to bet against uh, Auburn again. This is great. Yes, Auburn six and a half point road favorite against our Mississippi State boys. Well, you guys liked them last week. Uh, I told you to take Jimbo. Jimbo oh, prevailed. You got lucky. You were down six going into the fourth. Jimbo man. prevailed. Well, Auburn's trash. They finally got a little inverse luck. It's it it worked itself out. Yeah, let's let's let's. Where's the cowbell? Where's the fucking cowbell? I got go right. go grab a cowbell. This is, this feels like a good time to rally around this Mississippi State program. They're finally figuring things out. They got rid of the bad apples, and, and their quarterback, I guarantee you, will eat sushi off of a model <laughs> and not apologize to anybody. Hail State, baby. Hail State. Hail State. Let's go. All day. Mississippi State plus six and a half. <laughs> this this feels like their spot. End of the year, getting things right. Can't wait to go there and kick that forty seven yard field. Goal. Will Rogers, man. That's our boy. Yeah. Forty seven yarder? 
Forty-seven yarder. You're gonna. How, how much time do you Sean need in, in, that, in that heating pad before Sean. before that field goal? No, of course I know. <laughs> Colby, you'll be traveling as my personal masseuse. <laughs> You should loosen up. The I back. promise to not eat sushi off your body, dude. Maybe. Well, right? I mean, seriously though, Ma- Max. Uh, you know, maybe we. You know, maybe he could be my personal masseuse once he graduates. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Dude, he only has 1,800 followers. Sticks. Come on. Happy Lock Dog Tees presented by MyBookie.ag. Promo code SGP. Colby, kick things off. Who is your lock this week? I'm gonna lock. Miami, Ohio. Don't overthink this. Brian Van Gorder only coaches defense for one of these teams. Um, <laughs> Miami laying twenty three and a half against Bowling Green. Strong play, easy money. Um, my dog. Well, what, what, what are we doing value wise here? Ah, uh, well, shit. I didn't take many. Um, <laughs> North Carolina. Oh, okay. Just so everyone knows, Colby is the one that actually puts the list of games together. <laughs> yeah. UNC money line at Miami. And what is your uh, what is your three team tease? Uh, let's go. Let's go pit down to minus a half. Okay. Let's take uh Texas down to 23. Ooh. 20, <laughs> no, wait, hold on. 22 24. 20, yeah, I'm sorry. 24. Yeah. 24. I oh, it's at math. 30. That's yeah. right. And uh, how did you get a random half in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually I'm seeing 29 and a half as we speak right now. Oh, okay. Uh, whatever. Okay. We picked it at 30. <laughs> um, and let's take uh Let's take um, UCLA up to nine and a half. Ooh, interesting. All right. And uh, bonus pick give me Kent State minus five against Ohio. Maction for life. And uh, for my COVID game, we got to go. We got to go. Colby loves the COVID bit. The like COVID that. game is great. We're going to, uh, I'm telling you, man. I forget about my, it every one year. One of my favorite things. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go Auburn, Mississippi State. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah. High chance. Kramer, lock, lock. Uh, you know, I for a second I was like, well, I should uh, 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 maybe West Virginia. Like, I get cute. No, Texas. Let's go minus thirty. <laughs> Less miles just covered. Time to hop back on that gravy train. Uh, dog. You know, I could give you you. I could give you the, the Wahoos, which of course you would say, what the fuck is a Wahoo? Uh, I could tell you about Georgia Southern, but let's have some fun. Tulsa, they uh, they spoil the party. They get it done. They win outright on the money line. That's going to be a big one, Sean. Four to one, maybe. Uh, just like my New York Giants over the Seattle Seahawks to claim the top spot in the Jeez. NFC East. The t- uh, I was I was getting to that. Um, thanks for talking over it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't want to hear your Giants bullshit. <laughs> this is a college football picks podcast, around. <laughs> ah, uh, Pittsburgh does not lose to Georgia Tech. Make that a half. Okay. Let's take UCLA up to nine and a half. Copying Colby so far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's am a, I really? It's a, good, it's a good model for success. What am I in college basketball and right let's, now? Uh, let's take UVA up to eight. A uh, little Wong action there. There Easy you go. Money. Virginia Tech does not have a starting quarterback. I, I I'm de- being dead serious. You should go bet Virginia if you can get three. Uh, whatever the number is, two. Virginia Tech doesn't have a quarterback right now. They don't have a quarterback. I, I don't know why the Colorado wh- had that problem coming in the season. They're undefeated. I, I mean, I guess just snap it to <laughs> Herbert, but I don't know why Virginia isn't favored. Yeah. Bonus lock Kramer. Can I go Virginia? Yeah. UVA. No, plus no I gotta go off board. I gotta go off yes. board. Let me, I'll give me a second. You make your picks. What's I'll your f- COVID game? Oh, my COVID game is Miami, North Carolina. No, it's Ohio State, Michigan. They yeah. they don't want any business yeah. playing in that game. Oh, you're right. They're gonna they're gonna opt out. The fucking pussies. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like if you didn't already hate Ohio State, like what a, what a pussy university. Well, oh, seriously, what like fuck you, fuck you. I hate all those teams that that like Wisconsin had like ten players. were like, no, fuck we're not playing. We're trying you. to preserve our playoff. You're two and two now. Go fuck yourself. Yes. Uh, what are we doing here? I'm doing my lock. Yeah. For my lock, give me Colorado. Don't Hell worry, yeah. Colby. I'm I'm Hell pretty yeah. good at my locks. Hell yeah, buddy. Throw throwing my uh eighty two percent. Colby's or very nervous. Colorado minus one and a half for the lock. <laughs> for the dog. And this dog is a big dog. Big dog. Give me Georgia Southern money line rivalry like game. I upset like it. potential. My T's army. Just to beat those uh those sailors in their white suits. <laughs> Fucking shipman. 
get out of here. Army, the few, the proud. Uh, for the record, I'm a big fan of Army and Navy. No, I, uh, you know, Sophie's choice. Pick and the Air be- Force, hopefully, you know? Pick it between the troops. A- everyone but the Space Force, I support. Oh. Uh, Texas, minus 24. That's always a fun one. And then uh, West Virginia. Nah, well, uh, yeah, let's put Miami. Uh, Bowling Green down to uh, minus seventeen and a half. Okay, I like for it. my bonus. I, I'm I'm between two games, Colby. I'll I'll use your knowledge here. Do I take Washington State plus two and a half at home against Cal, or do I take San Diego State plus sixteen and a half? Oh, you're Wazoo. gonna steal mine, Wazoo. Oh, um, dude. Wazoo plus two and a half. All right, I like them both. I know that Colorado Patty C had a great idea. You know how they the stadiums are empty. They're putting those bu- those, yeah. those empty. Uh, they should let the buffalo roll around in that stadium and just knock away all those fucking paper people. Isn't oh, that, that a great would be idea? Awesome. <laughs> uh, you mean the bison? <laughs> oh God, can't go down this wormhole. Oh, buddy. and yeah. for my uh, COVID game, give me Tulsa. Well, just to be clear, there's no buffalo no, 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 on this. A, Ralphie's a buff. Tell, Ralphie tell, is a just bison. like your Greg Williams thing. Tell Ralphie that to his face. <laughs> I'm sure Ralphie would like to be called a bison because he is a bison. Uh, I'm going to be on San Diego State, Sean, because of okay. course uh, the dream crusher, sixteen and a half. Yeah, B, it it seems like a great letdown spot for BYU right after that game. They, I mean, they were they were like the the fiends. Just they wanted to play anyone to get in that playoff, and now it's done. It's cooked. So good luck. Good, good luck good, indeed. Good fucking luck. <laughs> Again, check out my bookie.ag promo code SGP. Subscribe to the college experience if you haven't already. Throw us a uh, throw us a little review, man, on the old uh, Apple Podcast reviews every Monday. Picking a winner for Merch Monday, I will. Uh, I'll pull up this week's winner, and you can you can follow us on at Gambling Podcast if you're if you're picked. Hit us up. This is uh, this is from Braxton Sparks one fifty seven. I am from Missouri and listen to every pod since I found your podcast. I'm a huge Chiefs fan, but Danny Dimes, aka Danny Double Nichols, when he doesn't cover the spread, the guys make me laugh and get through my work day along with making me some cheddar. P.S. The guy complaining about all the Giants talk sounds like a little B word. I don't know if Apple censors these. Sincerely, your favorite Chiefs fan. So <laughs> that could be you. If that is you, email us podcast at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Get you hooked up with some merch again. Thrive Fantasy, send in those screenshots. So did he just call you a chance to win? Did he just call you a little bitch? No. Oh, you weren't the one complaining about all my Joe Judge talk. No, he was. He was <laughs> all right. I mean, uh, you're all, <laughs> your, all <laughs> right. Your your Joe Judge talk is in, insufferable. Sean's getting fatigued. I am suffering from COVID <laughs> and Joe Judge fatigue. That'll do it for the podcast. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Sayonaro, Justin Fuente. Kramer. <laughs> Let it ride.